Good morning. Good morning. It's November 30th. It's a Monday morning. And this is crowned week. And we are so excited about being with you in a few days. Listen, ladies, I want to say this to you. Don't let anything stop you from being here. If you've bought your ticket and you've bought your plane ticket, you need to get here. There is going to be so much uh, glory. I just, I just know in my heart, uh, just because of what God's speaking to me and God's speaking to others that are coming to minister, that we're going to see a mighty move of the Spirit. Jesus is going to do it. It's not going to be about us. It's going to be about Him, and we're going to enjoy every minute of it. Our lives are going to be transformed. Our lives are going to be transformed. Our lives are going to be transformed. I want you to go get your, uh, <clears throat> your elements. Go get your communion. And we're going to start our morning by taking communion and remembering the Lord's body. Partaking of the Lord's body. And Lord, I just thank you for the opportunity to come before you every morning and spend time in your presence and have you wash me and cleanse me and purge me and set things in order in my life. You know, God, you are you have been such faithful to me. You've been so faithful to me beyond my wildest imaginations, beyond my wildest dreams. You've loved me <clears throat> and pursued me and washed me and cleansed me and help keep me, my life uh, in a way that you could bless me and work in my life and I can hear your voice. And Lord, I just love you today. I love you today. I, I thank you for your love. I thank you for your mercy. I thank you, God, for this Monday, November the 30th. I thank you for a day to worship you. I thank you for a day to worship you. I thank you for a day to spend time in your presence. I thank you for a day to hear your voice. I thank you, Lord, that we are, we are hearing your voice. I want you to practice the presence today. Just <clears throat> don't let yourself get very far from just his abiding love. Don't let, don't let yourself drift too far from his abiding love. If you feel yourself drifting from his abiding love, then run right back to him and get right back into his love. His love helps me to see things straight. His love helps me to love. His love helps me to overcome. His love helps me to be willing to sacrifice for others. It's his love. Lord, we just thank you for your love today. I thank you for all of these women today. And I want to start praying for some of your names. Listen, I want you to go in and share the broadcast. This is going to be a, a pivotal week in the spirit. A pivotal week in the spirit. So I want you to go on and share the broadcast and invite someone to pray with us because we're praying for America today. We're praying for Donald Trump today. We're praying for your families today. We're praying for the Crown Conference today. I'm praying for your health and your and your jobs and most of all your spiritual well-being. You're praying for your spiritual well-being. I want you to, to declare out of your mouth what you hear the Lord saying. I'm going to be praying for some different things, but as I pray, uh, just you pray and you, you agree with me. You agree with me and declare it out of your mouth. There's something about declaring it out of your mouth. So I want you to go on and share the broadcast and I want you to say pray with us or pray with us on replay. <clears throat> Lord, I just thank you uh, for the opportunity to take communion today. And I pray, God, as every one of these ladies, as all 310 of them get their juice and their cracker and whatever their, whatever their piece of bread, Lord, that they would just remember, and I would remember, Lord, what you did on Calvary, the price you paid, the sacrifice you made, the ultimate sacrifice, you, you literally laid your life down so that I could be free and so that 332 mothers in Zion, Holy Ghost daughters in Zion, women of prayer could be free. You laid your life down so that we could be free. So, ladies, I just want you to thank him right now. Just thank him for that, Lord. I just thank you. 
Just raise your hands and thank you. Thank him. Lord, I just thank you for the price you paid. I thank you. I remember to, again today, on November 30th, 2020, the price you paid, and I thank you. And I love you, and I honor you. And Lord, we just remember today what you did. We remember. I want you to get your elements, ladies. Get your communion. And I want you to go on and share this broadcast, okay? Share the broadcast, because so many need to be a part of this. Lord, we thank you for your body. We remember the stripes that you took, the flesh that was torn so that we could be healed. And God, I take this in remembrance of you, and I thank you for healing my body in the name of Jesus. I thank you for healing the body of Christ. I thank you for healing America. I thank you for healing our homes. I thank you for healing the fivefold ministry. I thank you for healing our children. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for the blood, Lord. Wash us. Wash America. We plead the blood of Jesus over America. We ask you to wash America by your blood. We ask you to wash our homes. We ask you to wash our lives. We ask you to wash us with your precious blood. We ask you to wash our children. We ask you to wash our church. We ask you to wash everything Everything that, that concerns us, we ask you to wash it in your blood and make it whiter than snow. Lord, I thank you for your blood. Your blood speaks a better word. Your blood speaks a better word. Your blood speaks a better word. Many of you are coming in for Crown this Thursday night, Friday all day, and Saturday. There's over 400 that are signed up to be here live with us. Actually, 410, I think. And there's almost 100 online. Uh, the last time I ch checked, it was like 80-something, 79, 80. And uh, so, but I, I want to encourage you, do, do not, if you're signed up to be here, don't let the enemy keep you from here. Come hell or high water, you get here. You have an assignment from God. You have a you have a destiny. You have a you have a date with destiny. You have a date with destiny, and God is going to do some miraculous, miraculous things in our lives. We are literally going to come and we are going to tarry. We're not going to be in a hurry. We're not. It, yes, we've got a lot of people coming to minister. But the Lord told me to hold this conference, to hold this uh, this encounter, really it's an encounter, loosely in my hand because the Spirit of God is going to show up and lives are going to be changed. So I want to encourage you, don't let anything keep you from being here. You need to be here because you're, you've got a date with destiny. As sure as I'm living and breathing, God is going to do something that we will never forget and it will change the course of... Uh, of our lives because anytime you have an encounter with God you're never the same you're never the same so Lord I just thank you for every lady that's coming I thank you for every speaker I thank you for everyone that signed up to be there I thank you for every man that's coming to help I just ask you God that you protect them I plead the blood of Jesus over them and that no no devil in hell would stop them from getting here because there's such this is such a date with destiny this week and i just pray supernatural protection over their mind i pray supernatural blessing over their hearts i thank you lord for what you're doing i thank you lord for what you're doing by faith in our lives i pray lord that every woman that sets her foot in that door in the door of celebration of life for the crown conference God, that you, it becomes such a personal encounter this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday that we may have 400 around us, but it's in a personal encounter with you, a personal encounter where our lives are never the same. And we are so sold out. I thank you, God, that you are, you are teaching us how to surrender in totality. That we are living sold out lives. And I just declare it 
that you are teaching us how to live out sold out lives to your kingdom, to your purpose, to your plan. And I thank you, God, that you are, you are taking us down this path and we have laid our lives down and we are willing to go because we want to see everything that you've promised this nation, our families, our children. We are willing to pay the price. We are paying the price in prayer and fasting and seeking your face. I pray blessing over every woman that steps their foot, every young woman, elderly woman, middle-aged woman, every woman that's come from another state, every woman that's come from Texas, every woman that's came from Baytown. God, I just thank you that you are doing something so significant. Think about it, ladies. During a pandemic, over 400 people are coming in to an encounter with Jesus. It's a, it's a date with destiny. I'm telling you, it's a date with destiny. So for those that are online, I want you to know that God's going to visit you too. It's going to be supernatural. And I just want you to just get in there and, you know, just shut out the world, put, put it on, receive from the Holy Spirit. Uh, I'm so, so thankful and I'm so excited about what the next few days is going to look like. For us as women of God. Now I want you to lay your hand on your heart. I want you to lay your hand on your heart. There's 407 of you this morning. I want you to lay your hand on your heart. And I want you to repeat after me. Say, Jesus, give me a heart of flesh. Give me a soft heart. Give me a repentant heart. Say, give me a repentant heart. Give me a heart that's quick to love and quick to forgive. Not only others, but myself. Many of you know how to forgive others, but you don't forgive yourself. So Lord, give us a heart that's not only quick to forgive others, but quick to forgive ourselves. I pray blessing. I pray blessing over all 411 women that are signed on right now. I pray the blessing of Jehovah. I declare that you are blessed. I, de I declare that you're the first, not the last. I declare that the hand of God is on your life. I declare you have eyes to see. You have ears to hear the Lord, and you have a heart to obey the Lord, and you have a tender heart. God, baptize us with a tender heart. Baptize us with a tender heart. Baptize us with a love for the lost and mankind around us. Baptize us with a love for those around us. God, let us love people and love your love men and women that we come in contact with like you love them, Lord. Let us be willing to lay our lives down for the gospel. Let us be willing to go the extra mile to help someone or encourage someone. God, do a work in our lives. Do a work in our lives. Do a work in our lives. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. I want you to just get really quiet before the Lord. Just get really quiet before the Lord. He's going to speak to you. Ask the Lord to speak to you. Lord, I thank you that you're speaking to Ask the Lord to speak to you. He's speaking to you this morning. He's speaking to you this morning. I see angels being dispatched to you today. <clears throat> God is sending angelic help. So as you as you pray out your prayers. 
Hear me. Hear, hear Pastor Callie. As you pray out your prayers to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, he sent an angelic help to accomplish the will, purpose, and plan in not only your life, but in your children's lives, in your family's lives, in your husband, in your marriage, in your church, in your business. We don't have to depend on our own strength. We depend on him. He does the work. And he has sent angels out. In fact, I feel actually, I feel actual angelic activity in my home this morning. Oh, whew. Oh, oh, Lord. I thank you, Jesus. God is bringing provision to you. Major provision is coming to every one of you. I don't care what it looks like. Same with myself. Major provision is coming. I hear the word of the Lord saying major provision. It's, it's, the angels are carrying provision. And it looks like a lot of different things. Provision of breakthrough. Provision of money. Provision of peace. Provision of healing. The, the angels have arm loads of provision for you. Just receive it. I want you to put your hands out and receive it. Receive it. Arm loads of provision. I pray for America today. I pray for America today. I ask you, God, to work a miracle in our country. I ask you, Lord, for a miracle, for your miracle working power in our country. I ask you, Lord, for the third great awakening. I ask you, God, to have your way. We break every assignment of hell over this country in Jesus' name. We have power with God, ladies. We have power with God. We thank you for breakthrough in our, in our nation, in our nation's capital, from the White House to the every house in America. We thank you that the glory of the Lord is filling this nation, and the glory of the Lord is filling your home. I want you to... To receive, to put your hands out in a receptive mode and just receive the blessing of the Lord. I see angels bringing arm loads of provision. <laughs> arm loads. Arm loads. Like, there's, I mean, they're coming in, in troops with provision and wisdom and power and anointing. Receive it. Receive it right now. Receive it. Receive it. I want you to begin to declare out of your mouth uh, what you see the Lord bringing armloads of provision to. I'm going to get quiet, and I want you to declare out of your mouth. There's 431 of you. I want you to declare out of your mouth. I'm going to be quiet so you can focus on what God's saying to you. Speak it out your mouth. Speak it out of your mouth. I'm being quiet so you're not distracted, but I want you to declare out of your mouth what you see God bringing arm loads of provision to. Declare it out of your mouth. Declare it out of your mouth what you see God bringing armloads of provision to. Prophesy it out of your mouth. Pray the prophecy. 
Declare it by the Spirit. How did God form the, wor the world? He spoke it into existence. And right now you are praying prophetically by the Spirit. Now declare it out of your mouth. I declare that all seven of mine and Pastor Bob's children are sold out to Jesus Christ. They're doing the will, purpose, and plan of God. They're obedient, and no weapon formed against them will prosper. And I plead the blood of Jesus, and I declare that they are obedient to the Lord and doing the will, purpose, and plan, and they are totally surrendered. I declare all my spiritual children are doing the will, purpose, and plan of God, and they are totally surrendered to the Lord. I declare I am doing the will, purpose, and plan of God, and I am totally surrendered to the Lord. Begin to declare it out of your mouth. Begin to declare it out of your mouth. Even before the day is over, many of you will see answers to these prayers. Before the actual day is over, there will be many of you that will see answer to, to these prayers. God is, this is such a now word, and God, this is a Kairos prayer, and God is moving even as we speak it out of our mouth. This is a Kairos moment. This is a Kairos moment. Crystal Jones, I just saw you come up, and God highlighted you to me. Uh, this is a new day for you. You have um, you have met with much struggle and much um, pain, and there at times it's been more than you could even bear. And you've said it to God, I, I don't think I can bear this, but. What God has planned for you and what he's doing in you is so beyond anything you could even imagine. And all of uh, the suffering, uh, we don't like suffering. None of us do. I hate suffering. Who likes suffering? But, but and God doesn't make us suffer. We live in a fallen world. But there are times that we enter into seasons of suffering. And if any preacher tells you that doesn't happen, then they're blind. Because we live in a fallen world. But here's the deal. God takes what the enemy meant to destroy us. And he turns it for our good. And he said to know him in the fellowship of his suffering. There's something about trusting God through seasons of suffering. It forges a faith in you like nothing else. It forges a faith in you like nothing else can do. And, and Crystal, there is a faith that is being forged in you so that you can rescue many. You are a rescuer of mankind. By nature, you love to rescue. You Even as a little girl, you would rescue things. It is part of your DNA. It's part of your spiritual DNA. It's part of your physical DNA. You are a rescuer. And so God is taking what the enemy meant to hurt you, wound you, or entrap you, and he is turning it for his good. And your faithfulness to him pleases the Lord, and you will be a rescuer. You're already, but even on a higher level, a rescuer of mankind. And God is going to show himself strong to you even this week. Even this week. Even this week. Even this week. And Cherith, I'm going to pray for you. Uh, I'm praying for you and your children, but I'm also praying for every single mother, every single mother that is attempting and making a, an attempt, and you are doing a fabulous job, but every single mother that is, a, that, is, that, is, that is raising their kids in church, they're showing up to church, they're praying every day, they're doing this by themselves, but they have the Lord with them. And so you are receiving a blessing of the Lord, Cherith, you and your children. The hand of God is on your children, and God has taken you up. He has literally 
taken you up. He has taken you up and he is going, not only providing for you in the natural, but supernaturally, both your children, God is gonna do something so special through both of them. But you are standing in the gap today for all the single mothers that are out there. And Cherith, in your home, I want you to declare victory over those single mothers. God is teaching you not only how to intercede for yourself, but how to intercede for others. And I just thank you for blessing Cherith and her two babies. And I thank you for blessing every single mother, every single mother, every single mother, every single father that is doing their best to raise their children in the, in the fear and admonition of the Lord. And, and as I saw you Sunday morning, Cherith, with your babies, sitting on that front row, my heart just leaped. I'm so proud of you and, the, and, and your obedience. And there's many of you that are here on this, on this prayer cast, and your obedience is so pleasing to the Lord. Your obedience is better than sacrifice. God is so proud of your obedience. And God is moving in such a powerful way. In such a powerful way in your life. Expect miracles. Expect miracles. Expect miracles. Expect miracles. I'm going to pray for everyone that has a business. If you have a business, I'm going to just pray right now for businesses. Lord, I just declare supernatural blessing over every business that's represented. Every business. I pray supernatural blessing over every position, job position that's held by one of these women or their husbands. And I thank you for blessing. I thank you for raises. I thank you for advancement. Even in an economy that maybe looks shaky, God, we just declare we're not a part of this world. We're a part of your economy. And I want you to expect blessing, ladies. Hold your hands up and say, Lord, we just receive your blessing. The angels are dropping blessing. All kinds of blessing today. All kinds of blessing. Lord, I just thank you for healing. I want you to put your hand on your head if, you're, if you've had any kind of sickness. Lord, I just thank you for healing our bodies. Healing our bodies. I thank you for healing our bodies. I thank you for healing our bodies. Okay, a couple of things. At the top of this broadcast, I'm going to ask you to, uh, to join, and there is a number that's that's posted in the, that will be posted in the top of this broadcast where you, you put in that number, text her voice, and that gives you all the text message updates and things that are going on with the her voice rallies that we're going to be doing next year. And we're starting uh, actually with crowned. We're starting with crowned and then go all the way into July of next year. And, and pastor Jenny Donnelly and myself, her, the her voice movement, and then mothers of Zion are partnering and we're going across this nation and we are calling for a million women, a million sold out women, and you're a part of that. So I want you to share this broadcast, and I want you to say, come join us. Come into the movement. A million women sold out to Jesus. So we want you to join the text message group. Then we want you to sub subscribe to, to Jenny Donnelly and to Callie Ship Gray. On YouTube Sub subscribe because this, as we start these broadcasts this next year actually this next week <clears throat> next Monday we will be live on YouTube and we'll be live on Facebook as well so we want you to go and subscribe okay and then we want you to invite others to pray with us now we are going to we have so many exciting things to tell you at this conference you are going to be blown away. So if you if you did not prepare to come and be here on site, go on and get your online ticket. And there there will be an own there's an online option, and um, and we'll I'll have uh, Pat or someone Pat if you could just uh, post the online option. There's an online option that we'll post after I get through posting this, 
and you can you can get your ticket online and be a part of that okay but it, it, it's going to be amazing. So there are so many exciting things that we have that we we have literally saturated ourselves in prayer. And we, 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 we believe we received a download from heaven. And it is going to be the most exciting time ever to be a part of Her Voice, Our Mothers of Zion. The most exciting time. The most exciting time. So you're a part of it. So you're going you're gonna to join the text messaging group. You're going to subscribe to Jenny Donnelly. And to Callie Ship Gray on YouTube, then you're going to invite others to be a part of it with us. We'll have prayer casts. We've got things going daily that you're going to be involved in. And then we're going to. Add, and then I have a link on there for Mothers of Zion, and I ask you to just go on there and fill that out because listen, you never know. We're on we're on public forums and platforms, and you never know when we're going to want to tell you something privately. Okay, that we may not want to tell you on a, a public forum. So go on and sign up uh, on all of these different avenues so that we can communicate. Uh, we love you with all of our heart. I cannot tell you how excited I am about what the future holds for Mothers of Zion and the Her Voice family community of women. God has a million women and you, you 419 of you, we are the seed. We are the remnant. And God is going to use us. And God is going to saturate us. And God is going to put the fire in our belly and use us to gather a million women across this nation. A million women that are sold out to Jesus. A million women that would die for the gospel. A million women that will pray and fast until Christ is formed in us. A million women that will call for a third great awakening. That is what Holy Spirit is doing, and you are a part of it. So I love you so much. All of this information will be on the top of this broadcast, so go and read through it carefully, and please join, subscribe, and invite. Join, subscribe, and invite. Come into the movement. And then for those that are coming to the conference and that are online, whether you're coming physically or you're online, know that this is going to be one of the most powerful weeks of your life. We are so excited about what Jesus is doing. I could not be more thankful. Lord, I just declare the blessing of the Lord over all of these handmaidens of the Lord. I declare they're the head, not the tail. I declare they're the first, not the last. I declare they have eyes to see and ears to hear. I declare they have tender hearts to obey. I declare they have repentant hearts, and I have a repentant heart. I declare that we are sold out to you, Jesus, in Jesus' name. Ladies, share this broadcast. I love you so much, and we'll see you in the morning. God bless.